So these are all lake trout that are being incubated by family. Brett Ladago so has a nursery full of tiny here. fishes. So I'm gonna just take this one. Each cylinder holds baby fish or fry from a single female lake trout. Ladago transfers them to an aquarium to watch their behavior. And I'm looking at them to see if I can observe symptoms that would mimic low vitamin concentrations. Those symptoms include the inability to hide from bright light. The grid in the tank allows the UVM grad student to measure how much the fry move. We do initial counts and then we give them a certain amount of time to seek shelter and see what the differences are. One of the mysteries biologists like Ladago are trying to solve is what happens to the lake trout after they hatch in Lake Champlain. Lake trout disappeared from Lake Champlain in the 1900s due to overfishing and impacts from lamprey. Since then, they've had to come from fish hatcheries. We have a lot of uh, adult lake trout um, that were stocked in the lake and, and reached full maturity, but uh, there's very little um, successful natural reproduction. Research shows there's plenty of hatchery fish spawning and lots of young fry in the lake, but reaching adulthood seems to be a challenge in nature. The vitamin culprit may be what the trout are eating, alewife. Because of an enzyme in alewife, they're getting it's degrading the vitamin in the, in the adult, um, so they're getting less of that vitamin to pass on to their young. That deficiency means the fry won't seek shelter and may become easy prey, and that means less will make it to adulthood. But Ladago thinks this work may help find a solution. I think we're, we're putting together pieces of the puzzle and hopefully um, this will just be another piece and then um, it'll be easier to restore fish populations such as lake trout and salmon. For Echo and News Channel 5, I'm conservation correspondent Bridget Butler.